What's going on everybody? It's your old friend Jamie here from Sharon at Sea Travel. Hey, I realize this is not a great time for us cruise lovers. A lot of folks are feeling a little depressed because our cruises are getting canceled. Uh, they're getting rescheduled. We are losing out on our dream vacations. Um, and I know it's a bummer for a, a lot of people out there, but hey, I'm here today to see if I can't cheer you up a little bit. I'm here to share with you guys 10 things you can do to make your cruise being canceled a little less depressing right after this. So again, if you're one of the many folks that have had a cruise get canceled, just like us here at China Sea Travel, you need to find something to pass the time. You need to find something to turn that frown upside down, to turn that bucket of lemons into lemonade, if you will. And I think I've got a few ideas for you. I've got 10 great tips to share with you. And these are some different things you can do to help to pass the time and be less depressed about your cruise getting canceled. Number one, rebook that bad boy. Take advantage of the discounts being offered. When the cruise line cancels your cruise, uh, they don't want to lose out on your money. They want you to stay with them and rebook that cruise. And in order to do that, they're going to give you incentives. You may be able to rebook the same cruise for just a few months down the road at actually a better value where it may end up costing you less or you may get more in return for rebooking. Plus you might get some onboard credit. You can turn that onboard credit into a shore excursion, a night in a specialty restaurant. Heck, maybe you wanna get the drink package or anything like that. So take advantage of the deals being offered, rebook that cruise and you might feel a little bit better. Number two, rebook the cruise, but rebook with something different. Maybe take the refund you got and go with a different cruise line you've never been with before. Do something out of the ordinary. Go outside of your, of your comfort zone. Maybe an exotic trip or something like that. Go to a destination you haven't been to. Go out of a port that you've never uh, sailed out of before or something like that. But change things up a little bit. That way you'll be able to do new research on um, new cruise ships, new ports, new destinations, and it'll help you pass the time so that that next cruise that's unfortunately a few months away ends up not being that long at all. It'll be right around the corner. You will have some new research uh, to work on and it'll help you pass the time and maybe be a little less depressed about your cruise getting canceled. Number three, plan a mini vacation. Now I realize right now in the next couple weeks, there's a lot going on. They're, they're saying to practice uh, social distancing. Don't go out, a lot of places are closed, a lot of places are shutting down, not operating at full capacity and things like that. So wait a few weeks, but as soon as possible, plan a mini vacation with the family. Maybe you go camping. Maybe go to an amusement park. Maybe just go get a hotel or go stay at a resort for a few days that you wouldn't usually go to. Maybe you plan a little romantic getaway with that someone special. But do a little something to help pass the time. Uh, hopefully you've rebooked your cruise for a few months away and you need a little something to focus on in the meantime. Plan that mini vacation for you and your loved one or you and your family. Go out and have a little fun in the meantime. It'll cheer you up and it'll help you be a little less depressed. All right, number four, maybe you had to cancel the cruise. Maybe you can't rebook at this time. You can't get the time off work. Things have changed. You're just not able to rebook at this time. Well, that's okay. You probably have a little money saved away. You're probably going to get a refund in the next few weeks. Take that extra money you're going to spend on the cruise and do a little something at home. Reinvest that money into a project at your home. Maybe it's time to, to redo the bathroom or redo the kitchen. Maybe you want to go out and buy a little paint and throw a fresh coat of paint on the walls in your house today. Spruce things up a little bit. Do a little landscaping, plant a garden, anything to help pass the time or to put you in a little bit better mood, uh, make you a little less depressed. It's something that you can put a little time and effort and money into and when you're all done, you can stand back and feel good about it and know that it's something you did in place of your cruise uh, that helped you be a little less depressed and put a smile on your face. All right guys, my number five tip, and this is bound to make you feel good, is to donate a little bit of your time. You know, we're all pretty bummed out because we can't go on that cruise we've been planning on. Uh, there are a lot of people less fortunate than us and they could use a helping hand at this tough time as well. So, so go out there and lend a hand in your community. Go find a local cause that you can appreciate, that you have a little passion for, and get involved and help someone else out. A food bank, big brothers, big sisters, anything like that, but go out and help someone else that needs a helping hand, and I guarantee you'll be a little less depressed about your cruise getting canceled. All right, my next tip I think is a great one for you. Revisit the old memories. I realize that right now we can't look forward to making our new memories for a little while, but nothing says we can't go back and cherish our older memories. So 
get into your photo albums, go on your computer, bust out your old camera that you never took the pictures off of, and throw them on the computer, organize them, share them with your friends and family. Maybe you jump online and make yourself a little video of your photos or your videos or something like that. Put something fun together you can share, look back at the great memories you've had, spend time looking at those with your family and your friends. Maybe you put together a little video of photos or something like that, and you send it to someone you were on a trip with before. They'll really appreciate that. And it's always nice to look back and take a little time to cherish those great memories you've already made while you're waiting for the opportunity to make some new memories. Now here's another good one. I guarantee there's a lot of people out there that were getting ready to go on a cruise and they're looking through their closet. They're looking at that outfit, thinking to themselves, boy, if I could have just lost a few more pounds, I could fit into this dress. I could fit into the suit. I could look my best. But you ran out of time. Well, guess what? Now you have a little time. Get back on that diet, get back on that meal plan, go back out and exercise, uh, do a little something special so that you can drop a few pounds and get ready to fit into your favorite outfit on that cruise. Now you have a little more time to go and you'll feel a lot better about yourself if you can fit into your bikini or in my case, your Speedo. I'm just kidding. I, I would never, seriously guys, I would never wear a Speedo. Don't even worry about it. But get back out on that exercise trail, lose a few more pounds and be ready for that next cruise. Now here's something you could do to make yourself feel better. It's a little selfish, but you know what? It's okay. Go out and spend a little money on yourself. Take that money you would have put into the cruise and spend it online. Do a little online shopping. Maybe look in your closet and if you're like me or if you like my family here, sometimes you go through your, your pictures and your videos from your other trips and you see yourself wearing the same clothing. Maybe it's time to refresh that wardrobe. Get yourself a new spring or summer outfit, maybe a couple of them. Get rid of some of that stuff in the closet. Heck, when you're donating your time, donate some clothing as well. And buy yourself a new couple of outfits that you can fill up your closet with, uh, get a little excited about, and have something to look forward to wearing on your next cruise. You know what they say, sometimes you gotta take care of number one. Nothing wrong with it, guys. Sometimes a little selfishness will go a long way to helping you not feel so depressed about your cruise getting canceled. Another thing you can do, and some of you may be aware of this already, but take advantage of online social media outlets like, let's say, Facebook, and join a Facebook group. Find a group about something you're passionate about with regard to your cruising or your travel. Maybe it's a port, a cruise ship, a destination, a roll call for that next cruise that you rebooked. Interact online, share photos, comments, questions, and answers. It's a great way to pass the time, make some new friends, even meet some people that you can look forward to hanging out with on your next cruise. You'll be able to spend time interacting with people that have the same interests as you do, and it's a great way to minimize that depression you feel about your cruise getting canceled. And finally, this is probably my favorite way to be a little less depressed about your cruise getting canceled. I know it's something that I'm gonna do. Go online and watch some cruise and travel vlogs. There are a lot of amazing creators out there that are putting out content to share with you. Uh, search destinations, cruise ships, cruise ports, anything that has to do with your upcoming travel, or maybe it's something that has nothing to do with your travel, but it's just that bucket list place you always wanted to go to. But jump online and pass the time doing your research and watching some great content on websites like YouTube, like you are right now. Find something or someone that you connect with and jump right into that video catalog and pass the time as you get ready to get onto your next cruise vacation. And as a matter of fact, while you're doing that, check out Sharon and Sea Travel. That's right, stay right here at Sharon and Sea Travel. We'd love to have you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you're always aware of new content coming out. We're always sharing our cruise adventures and our cruise vlogs with you guys. Join us on Facebook as well at the Sharon and Sea Cruise Crew. We'd love to have you be part of our cruise crew. I sure hope that some of these tips helped you out if you're feeling a little depressed about having your cruise canceled. Hey, don't worry. Everything will get back to normal at some point soon. I mean, I know things are a little crazy right now, but hang in there. Everything's gonna be okay. And you know, here at Sharon and Sea Travel, we usually end our videos with one phrase, one saying, and I don't know if this is the best time to do it, but what the heck, I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm that positive that things are gonna get better. But guys, until next time, thanks for watching and happy cruising.